there has been a lot of rain, and the river level was very high. The current was strong too, and you can see the current pushing me at a fast pace. I was getting better in assembling this boat. I looked for a place where the current was not that fast, so I could test the boat. Water flows slower around the dock. Installation of the unit on the water seems to be easier and faster than when I did that at my garage. Maybe the flotation of the unit helped with the installation. The pedal drive works great when I pedal with the current, which actually is a little bit deceiving, because the current was helping to push the boat further out near the middle of the channel. The current was very fast, as you can see here. Then I tried to pedal the boat against the current, and I was able to keep the boat stationary for a while. But this didn't last very long because the turbulence of the current started pushing the boat towards the center of the channel, where the water is the fastest, and also start pushing the boat backward and sideways. What I have learned is I can imitate the movement of the fish in steering the boat by just moving the fin with a different rhythm. In this example, I can steer the boat to move towards the dock by controlling the movement of the fin only. Maybe the force generated by this prototype is not strong enough. I didn't see any obvious zigzag movement of the boat when I paddled the boat. With the current setup of the pedal, it seems to be easier to control the pedaling with my hand. Here is another example of using the different rhythm of pedaling. I can control the movement and turning of the boat. I control the boat to turn to the right, and then I can control the boat to turn to the left by controlling the movement of the fin, just like a fish. I have not speed up this video, so you have a better sense of how fast the boat was. But then I use a wide-angle camera, so what you see may be a little bit exaggerated in terms of the movement of the boat. I tried to test the effectiveness of pedaling by increasing the pedaling frequency. Based on that university student's research, the most efficient way to drive his boat was to use an amplitude of 40 degree and the pitch at 20 to 30 degree. The frequency was between 0 0.3 to half a hertz. But my implementation doesn't have the arm, and I plan to add the arm in my next experiment. Finally, I try to propel the boat backward by rotating the fin, and now the propulsion was near the stern of the boat. It seems to me the boat moved a bit faster. But there was current in this test, and it was difficult to tell if it was really better. When I test rotating the fin in my garage, it wasn't as smooth as I would like it to be. But when the unit is in the water, the rotating of the fin feels very smooth. Maybe the resistive force of the water dampened the rotation and made the movement better. The speed of the pedal drive is too slow, which I'm a bit disappointed. Therefore, I immediately create this revision. 
which is an addition of an arm. Now, the design concept is similar to the one made by the university student. The pitch is controlled by how much the PVC pipe is inserted onto the fin. This is how I will install the new assembly and the weight of the arm will increase the stress on the rotating joint. Therefore, I plan to add a bungee cord to help to minimize the stress. I will be able to test the pedal drive in three days. I will post the result as soon as I can. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up or give me some feedback. Please subscribe so that you will not miss my next upload. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.